Today's topic is Fleming's Leiter rule, which is very useful in electromagnetic induction. We have already studied what is Fleming's left hand rule. So in Fleming's right hand rule, what we do is, it is similar to the Fleming's uh, left hand rule. We take the right hand and all three fingers, this is thumb, index and the middle finger and we align them in perpendicular with each other. So all of them are mutually uh, mutually perpendicular. Which finger? This is my uh, this thumb, this is uh, index and this is my middle finger represents like this. Okay, All of them are mutually perpendicular to each other. It means that the angle between this is 90 degree, this is also 90 degree uh, and this angle between each and every uh, thumb is 90 degree. Angle between this and this 90 degree, angle between this and this 90 degree, Okay, angle between this and this is also 90 degree. So, what is the use of right hand rule, Fleming's right hand rule? So, its use is very important to determine, determine the direction, okay, of induced current, induced current. So, there is one more way to determine the direction of induced current, which is Lynch law, right? But in some cases, it is very useful to use Fleming's right hand rule to determine the direction of induced current. Now, please don't get confused with the use of Fleming's left hand rule. In Fleming's left hand rule, it was used to determine the direction of current. Okay, De sorry. It is used to determine the direction of force on a charge or force on a current carrying conductor. But here we used to define, determine the direction of induced current. So first case let us consider this. So this is my uniform magnetic field B which is going inside and this is my conductor. Let us move this in this direction. Okay. So this is velocity V and we are going to give in the force. So how to remember this? This is remember by using father, mother, child. Father means force, mother means magnetic field, child means current. So what are the things which have given here? One is force. So I have to put this direction in the four direction of force. Right? So this is the direction of force. And what is this? Father, mother. So this is the direction of magnetic field which is going inside. So it should I should turn it like this because the magnetic field is going inside like this. Right? So this is force going this direction and this is current. So whenever I move this uh, conductor in this direction in the presence of magnetic field let it reach here okay so let us uh, construct it little like this okay so let us it has moved and reached in this position and what happens is there will be a electromagnetic electromagnetic induction because this conductor is changing its position in the uniform magnetic field while going that way then there will be production of EMF because of electromagnetic induction and because of that EMF there will be production of current. So what will be the direction of current is given by Fleming's right hand rule or Lange's law. So we are studying Fleming's right hand rule. Force, this is magnetic field and this is the direction of current. So this is the direction of current in the coil, say current in the conductor EQ, so this is E dash, Q dash. So direction of the induced current is from P dash to Q dash. So this is how we easy to use Fleming's right hand rule. So next let us uh, consider this uh, situation in which again I will have this, okay, this is my conductor, say A, B is my conductor, okay, conduct which is moving in this direction with the force I apply the force and this has got the velocity and it has reached this A dash and B dash now what should be the direction of current it was A and B outside the 
magnetic field. Now I move it in the magnetic field and I, it becomes A dash and B dash. Whenever it is moving, it is changing its position in the magnetic field. So there is change in the flux, there will be again electromagnetic induction and there will be induced EMF and induced current. So what should be the direction? So again Fleming's right hand rule. Right hand rule. Please remember direction of induced current, right hand rule. So this is father that is force. Again the force is in this direction. Okay. Force is in this direction. So force is in this direction. And this is the magnetic field which is coming towards us. So coming towards us. Can you see this? Okay, force and this magnetic field is coming towards us. Then what should be the direction? Okay, I don't know why I'm not able to. So I will do it like this. This is force and this magnetic field is coming towards us. Okay, so what is the direction of current? Force is in this direction, magnetic field is towards us, and this is the direction of current. So it is going from B dash to A dash. So the direction of induced current is from B dash to A dash. So this is how we can use the Fleming's right hand rule. So you can also try some other questions. Please do it at your home. And remember this one because this is very important topic which we are going to use in our upcoming lectures. Thank you.